Hello one and all and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Hysteria with your hosts, Nerd and Talos. In the previous episode we were introduced to a uh, character here that Fallen. Um, her name is uh, actually introduced as Alicia, right here. There she is! There she is! And I don't think we actually got introduced to her name yet. But um, if you guys just look it up and stuff like that, her name is definitely Alicia. And I didn't actually read that dialogue, but whatever. And I'm assuming we have to go outside of the facility. So there's something a point of interest. I'm missing the point of interest here. Check. Oh, okay. Here. Oh, they have discoveries now. Okay. I know in previous installations, like Azilia, didn't have uh, discoveries. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly. But either way. They definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. Seraphim, really so that's what you call? They anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. But good job picking up on that. Your intuition is always impressive. Aww. Oh yeah? For its rarity. <laughs> Here we go. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. They, they actually they actually reward you for discovering stuff. Like I, I always like that in in an RPG. All right, uh, let's do a couple. We can go multiple directions. It looks like if we go straight, I think that's where it leads. The exit leads. But I want to see something. I feel like we should go downstairs and see what that takes us. Let's just do it. Let's do some exploring. Obviously, we can't go here. Can we actually go outside? Yep, it's it's un inaccessible. It won't open. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of hidden. Although, how strange. There's a save point here. So I, eventually, I think, eventually, we will we will, we will, will be able to uh, go there. But for now, let's just follow. I, I was hoping too that there might have been like treasure or something. Because in a typical RPG, for those that don't know, usually at the end of a pathway, there's usually some kind of treasure. Usually. That's one of the cliches of an RPG. I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. She, yeah. Okay. But okay. too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. <sighs> you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. It's kind of cool that uh, she can't see... Uh, Mikalo... Uh, how do you pronounce his name? Mikalo? Mikalo? I think it's Mikalo. That sounds about right. You can always correct me in the comments. I I'm very bad when it comes to pronunciations. <sighs> We made it back in one piece. Wow, it's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena. He's looking at him right too. Feared by the people as Seraphim. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? I memorized it. Bingo. You've read it too? Aw, yes, yeah. something in common. Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> you idiot! That's what he's saying. How can you be so idiotic? Alright, with that being said, let's see what this map entails. Okay, it's not even that far far away. Okay, let's look at Soray's house right there. Gramps' house. So I have my own place. Not even that far from... Why is it a star there? But yet, we... Are... Never mind. I thought we were going to Gramps' place, so, but... Uh, is the Celestial Record a children's book? Oh, no, they moved it. Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, it looks like someone's enjoying himself. Oh, I can't attack the deer. Village, Alicia. 
So it's not Camlon, but Alicia then. Then the rumors were false after all. Okay. Well, what are those creatures? I guess we'll find out. Such robust horns. Just like the dragons of legend. <laughs> what, like in fairy tales? Or something else? Don't go near it. There's no telling how dangerous untamed beasts like those are. Ah, don't worry. We're friends. Oh, well, mostly. They did kick me four or five times when I was little. Your friends? Yep. Sometimes they give me milk, and I make cheese and yogurt with everyone. The mark of true friendship. Yeah, it's the best. Oh yeah, impressing the females. I love it. All right. Okay, the the star was over there, but they moved it as soon as the scene activated. Okay. Um, I guess I could explore, but it's not really necessary. I think. I, I, I think eventually we will, we will be going to those certain areas. That's the one cool thing about Tales games. They, they always want you to explore and they reward you for it. And in this particular game, they reward you even more so. Which is always a good thing. And this... Is the cutscene? Something about snacks. What's happening? What's happening? I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by afterwards? Yeah. Okay. Hey everyone, got someone to introduce to you. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> I just met her in the in the in the temple. That's that's normal, right? This is my family, living here at the shrine. <laughs> my, my whole family. She is this, uh, some kind of performance piece? Oh, she doesn't see him. Uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. Except you are in a shrine of the Seraphim. Waves. <laughs> kind of. Oh man. I sure hope Miklio's chat with Miklio went See, over well. Miklio. I was kind of right when it, with that pronunciation. Alright, uh, there's a snack preparation mango. Oh, I love mangoes. Oh, here it is. Oh, they just gave it to me? Oh, I, th I thought I was going to make it. Usually you, you can make food. Not just give me random food. Yeah, so far I haven't seen any um, where we can actually develop stuff. That's the one thing I always liked about Tales games where you can actually make stuff. I think in um, oh, Tales of Pesferia, we actually actually were able to make food. And they kind of took it away in Tales of Exilia. And um, it looks like they took it away again. Like other options that I enjoyed from Tales of Exilia. But it is what it is. Can't complain. I guess we can talk to some people, but I don't really like talking to NPCs. They're usually pointless. I love your coat, man. You look so happy. Look, look at that. Look at this. Look at, look at that face. Look at that face. It's really nothing else. I guess we could just go to uh, Soray's house. Okay, let's do that. Let's say before we go inside, there might be a boss fight inside of his house. Ooh, a chess. Oh, okay. If you look at the top right right there, they have a little grid we can actually look at. Let's Let's, let's look at it. Okay, these two are linked together, which means their their efficiency is a lot better. Okay, it's good to know. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, I I get it now. Basically, w once I equipped the ancient earrings, it opened up a new um, connecting platform for me. But and similar to my other equipment, like this one has three um, little diamonds. This one has one diamond. And I'm assuming if, if one diamond, diamond overlaps another diamond, it makes that particular stat, whatever, even better. See, if I overlap this one, it'll be a plus two. Interesting. Okay. This is definitely... Uh, I want to definitely master that because I'm pretty sure that'll be useful when it comes to, like, combat. For this particular episode, uh, I'm going to try to make it a little bit longer only because the next episode coming up will be this Sunday. And I want to make sure there's enough of content here to get you... 
I guess, excited for the next episode. Uh, or hold you over is probably a better terminology. Okay. I thought she was in my house. Where the hell is she? Where'd she go? Tell oh, we have to go to Gram's first. Oh. Oh, that's right. She told me she was going to explore the village first. But since she can't see anybody, she all she sees is like this empty... Empty villas and stuff. Okay, that's where we have to go. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what Gramps is gonna say. He's probably like a hundred years old right now. Especially with those eyebrows. And I'll let you hear the rest from Soray himself. Perfect timing. I reckon I'll have to. You idiot! <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of um, yeah, hi, Gramps. I'm back. Uh, Master Roshi. <laughs> How could you bring a human into our domain? Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Soray's side of the story too? At least a little bit. That's just what I'm about to do. <laughs> you idiot! You know full well the rules, Soray. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. Her and plus, she looks she was cute. To bring nothing but trouble to our domain. But I'm her kind too, you know. You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Oh, you you can learn it, okay? Normal humans have no such capacity. You oh, should maybe not. understand that more than anyone else. Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. But Gramps, this is the first time Soray's ever met a fellow human. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, she has no business in this realm. The loyalist realm. <laughs> ah. I have raised both of you as my own since you were but babes. All the while, doing my best to protect this land. And for that, I am grateful. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysia. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. Yes. Then it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. It's not gonna be quick. Never is. I love his boots. Look at that. He has some awesome boots. Gramps. I know. I know, McLeo. He means well. In all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him. Aw. He cares. He cares. Alright, we can go back to our house now. Let's kind of look around the scenery a little bit. That's the one thing I, I notice um, Colby House likes to do, is kind of like just look around the scenery. And I kind of want to make sure I emulate that a little bit when I play, the, play this game. Just so you guys can see the beauty of this. It's not like Skyrim graphics, like the realism or whatnot, but it does have its charm. But let's go save again. All right. Let's do this. Enter. Wait for her in your what? That kind of sounds provocative. Let's do it. Hey. She's not back yet. Hey, wow! Is this crest what I think it is? Yep, this is the mark of the shepherd. I knew it! The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim, controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The shepherd! <laughs> Sound like your kind of thing? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. 
I always thought that mankind's savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Ooh. Be silent, Seraph Beast. I shall not. Hmm. Excavated relics aren't play toys. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to stop here for now. Um, let's explore his house a little bit. I don't think there's anything of, a, of value. We can't even rest in our own bed. And it looks, looks like we're sleeping on a rock. What the hell? Is that even comfortable? It's a lot of books here. You could have at least bought a bookshelf. What's wrong with you? It's a ladder here. Going nowhere. Your house is... Uh, amazing but uh, nevertheless hope, hope you like this episode and i'll definitely see you in the next one if you're not ready be sure to check out my channel nerd and talos i i link will be in the description as well as somewhere annotated in the video maybe i don't know maybe maybe you forgot, you forgot. but uh, yeah if you really want to be a um, a loyalist as i call my fan base over there you can definitely check it out and subscribe but uh, that's pretty much all i got definitely check out other videos from the colby house channel and his partners. And I'll definitely see you in the next episode of Tales of Sisteria. That's all I got. Till next time. Just tell us out. Alright, laters. Lock and load, baby. Lock and load. Did you find it? Yep. Alright. I'm moving. I'm moving. Very slowly, though. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs>